Hello everyone, welcome to Jolly's Kitchen. How are you everybody? I hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing fantastic. So today I am here to make a bottle with egg korma. So I don't know anybody who doesn't love bottle. I'm one of them who loves bottle. So I want to share this recipe with you and I hope you like it and you will enjoy it and you will try it at home and let me know what you think about it and uh, what was your experience. So I can't wait to uh, hear from you. Um, enjoy my recipe. I'll see Hello, you soon. Hello my lovely viewers. Welcome to Jolly's Kitchen. Today I have a, another amazing recipe to share how to make potol korma with egg. If you like potol, stay with me and let's make it together. I have seen people don't want to peel it so what they do they grab a knife and they literally scratch the back. Another way you could do is uh, you cut the tip very little from both sides and then you can have a potato peeler and then you can gently just peel it as, as little as possible. So you don't want to waste too much. So just make sure that you, you don't go too deep. I'm not wasting a lot. I'm trying my best not to waste. I am done peeling and once I peel, this is how it looks. So it looks pretty clean. I am going to take a knife and I will basically scratch the back scratch the back gently and I make sure that it doesn't go all the way just gentle scratch and then you do the same thing on the other side I boil this egg already these eggs are boiled and peeled so now what I'm going to do I'm going to grab a knife and I'm uh, now I'm gonna hold my egg and I'm just gonna go slowly like this all around the egg and I'm gonna do all of them same way I remember my mom used to do it so that's why I like to do it uh, but I'm sure a lot of people likes doing it as well so yeah so this is just for the design uh, a little bit of uh, turmeric and similar very tiny chili powder and um, some pink salt My eggs are done mixing with the salt, chili powder, and turmeric. With my bottle with egg korma, I have also decided to add a few potatoes. So my potatoes are all ready to mix. I'm going to now uh, pan fry a little bit. So this is the color you want after you saute your egg and you saw how little oil I used and I literally kept it for 40 seconds. So don't do it more than 40 seconds. All you have to do is just you know, turn it around and get this color. Once this color is done, that means your egg is done here. In the same pan, now I'm going to fry my potato a little bit. A quick tip, so please don't deep fry your potato. You want to keep it as healthy as possible. So as soon as you get this nice color, that means your potatoes are ready. My potato and egg looks perfect. I kept it in the same plate because this is going to go to the same ingredients. I added some turmeric, salt and a little bit of chili powder with my bottle. Now I'm going to just lightly saute for like a couple of minutes and then I'm going to proceed to final cooking. My bottle is done. As you can see, I barely used any oil, but that's okay. I just needed to saute it until I get my color. I have prepared all my ingredients for my bottle with korma. So, garam masala, dhone, cinnamon stick, cumin powder, coriander powder, red chili, turmeric, uh, garlic ginger, and some um, uh, darchini. My oil is hot. I'm going to add my onions. While my onion is uh, getting brown, I'm going to add some bay leaf and a few pieces of cinnamon stick. Then I'm going to add some cloves. 
now that my onions are looking pretty golden color, I think now it's time to add uh, ginger, which I have it uh, in a cube, and then um, add some garlic, and also um, onion paste. Not much, just a one and half teaspoon. Mix it well and let it cook for another five to ten minutes. My onion is cooking. I'm going to add some salt, one teaspoon of salt. Pour a little bit of water so that my turmeric, garlic, cumin, coriander doesn't get burned. Now I'm gonna do cumin powder, one teaspoon turmeric, one teaspoon uh, red chili. Wow, look at the color, it's looking so pretty. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of yogurt. Love the color, looking really pretty. Here I added my bottle, so mix the bottle with my spices. Now that my bottle is added and I'm going to cover it for 5 minutes. It's been 5 minutes. I wanted to check how my bottles are looking. Look at this. It looks so pretty. I'm going to add my potato that I already uh, half cooked. It's been 5 minutes since I added my potato and I'm going to add one can of coconut milk. This. It's a parrot uh, brand, so if anybody wants to use it, that's fine. So I'm going to pour my whole can of coconut milk here. After I added can of coconut milk, I also added one cup of water. I'm going to cook for another 10 minutes and then add uh, my egg. And then finally, what I have to do, I'm going to add one teaspoon cumin powder. I'm going to add my egg right now. So that goes last. Here you go. I'm going to mix it together. Since the egg is already cooked, obviously you don't need to keep it for too long. So now that it's almost ready, let's finish with one teaspoon of cumin, which I have already prepared here. There you go. And one teaspoon sugar. Okay. Oh wow, I'm already getting hungry. I mean, this is amazing. I can't wait to have this for dinner. It's one of my favorite vegetables. I am going to enjoy this so much tonight. And look at that. The color looks delicious. This is how my egg with bottle and aloo looks like. So my cooking is complete and this is the final looks of my bottle korma with egg and aloo. When you cook, you need to have some connection with your food. If you don't have the connection, I don't think the cooking is complete because some people they cook because they have to eat it and some people they cook because they love cooking and once you have the connection with your food the food has to look good taste good just like my egg with korma and potato looks like so i'm going to enjoy this tonight if you like my video please share comments and like thank you for watching